at this point in time, I get, I get a little exasperated that you, you bend over backwards and do a lot of things for the community because you love it mm-hmm. and because you're, you're sympathetic to certain needs, like Tom Pettit when he had cancer. You know who the first one that donated money was me, Steve Blair. Yeah. You know, the Space Alliance guy, Joanna Hawley. How many times she ringed me on different things on council, you know? And I raised over $1,000 for those folks and, and, and donated the funds for those folks. And guess what? They had me over to their house for dinner saying thank you. And it was a great time. And I looked at them and I said, you know, politically, you're on a different scale than I'm at. You walk across a different bridge than I do. I said, but we're all people and we'll, we all mean a lot to one another in a different way. And I said, I don't have to think like you do and you don't have to think like I do, God forbid. But the bottom line is, is we're not bad people. And she just kind of looked at me and she said, it's so well put. Can you put your your concerns about the mural kind of in, in a concise statement? Yeah. Bottom line, my concerns about the mural was is that it was defacing a public building of a historic nature in one of the heaviest, heaviest traveled roadways in Prescott, Arizona, without any edification of what the mural was supposed to be what it stood for, and it is a piece of public art, and it's a piece of public art that I don't support. Not there. Somewhere else, maybe yes, but not there. And based upon the fact that nobody bothered to get, let the community know what that mural was supposed to depict, made it very difficult even to buy in on what the, uh, what the mission statement of that mural was supposed to be. Plus it was too big, too in your face, wrong place, wrong time that's about as clear and concise as i can get okay Uh, so part of the problem is is you don't get what it's saying is that correct does does anybody i mean you might because you went to the dedication but if you were just a everyday joe in the city of prescott that went up and down williams willow creek road and and i explained joe every single day you you kept looking at it it looked like a guy uh, in in my opinion a guy black guy brown guy holding a, a stick um, and a big um, and flowers and stuff. What, what was it supposed to mean? I don't know what it was supposed to mean. I really don't. To this day, I don't know what it's supposed to mean. If they say it means going green, what does that mean? So, anyway. Just but bottom line is, what? where's your heart as far as the city of Prescott goes? My heart is in the city of Prescott. Maybe my heart shouldn't be so much in the city of Prescott, therefore I wouldn't care as much to open my mouth to protect the very spindles that it sits on. Not everything is okay. And not everything should be looked at as I have to be politically correct around everybody I stand with. If I don't think I like the Merce Street because of how it was constructed, I have a right to say I don't like it. If I don't like public art like the mural, I have a right to say I don't like it. If I don't like the library being closed three or four hours of the day um, because it doesn't work into my time schedule and I like to be uh, open when I'm not working, I have a right to say that. I'm a citizen. And in the city of Prescott, in the world we live in, we have rights. And those rights we should be able to say without being chastised of what we think as an individual. That, that's the hard part. The hard part is, is where do people draw the line of standing up for what's right or wrong? You know, uh, are, do you mind having a public discussion about the mural and and how you feel about it? Are are, are you afraid of dissenting opinions? Are are you? No, I would love to. Tell you, I want somebody to tell me why I should like that. That's what I'd like somebody to tell me. Why should I like that? I like the one at the library. I like. I'd really like the one down at the parking garage. I don't like this one. And we need to have a policy at the city of Prescott that talks about public art. And how it should be perceived, where it should be painted, where it shouldn't be painted. Should it ever be painted on a public building without scrutiny by the public? The public owns them. Should we be able to paint Kumbaya on the side of of the Elks Theater now that it's been renovated and put kids and jackals and all kinds of stuff on the side of that building? Should we be able to do that without talking to the people that own it? Should we just unilaterally be able to deface a building without there being some kind of communication level of saying why we're doing it. And I told those guys from the TV show, I said, the bottom line is it's like a marriage. Half the time what crashes in anybody's marriage or business is it lack of communication. And this thing, in my opinion, has crashed because there has been no communication with anybody in this community about what that mural was supposed to mean, why it was being placed there, 
and the ultimate objective. I said, never once did I hear it, and those guys agreed with me. I said, in the city of Phoenix, I can guarantee you I know their codes. In the city of Phoenix, there's a law against painting public art on buildings. And a guy from Channel 5, he says, you're absolutely right. It wouldn't happen in Phoenix. I said, well, there you go. Why? Because I don't like it, and all of a sudden I'm being painted as a racist. So, so said, well, didn't you make reference to it on the radio show? I said, you bet. I said, some guy called me and says, doesn't that look like a big old black guy in the middle of that picture? And I said, it does. Maybe it has something to do with the um, guy that's in the White House. Whether you like it or not, he's our president, and he is black. There's nothing racism about what I just said. It's a statement, and it's a fact. But everybody wants to paint you as being some kind of crook. You've just been informed that um, you won't be continuing your radio show. Is that correct? Absolutely. As of today. I am no longer the KYCA 1490 PM guy. Mm-hmm. I am going to be the afternoon water my garden guy. <laughs> and cook dinner for my family guy. And spend more quality time with my family guy. And let somebody else do the public's work on the radio. Any regrets about that? Would you would you take back your comments regarding the mural if, if you had known that this was going to happen? No. I don't think my comments were wrong. Maybe um, maybe they weren't stated quite perfectly in an educated mind. Mm, but I think based upon the people that I've talked to that support what I said was the simple fact that why in Prescott, Arizona, in this time in history, are we allowing people to deface historic buildings with murals?